it's CEO here, and today I will show you 36 brand new things you can do in Animal Crossing. But first, if you're new to the channel, my name is CEO, and I also do Animal Crossing live streams on Twitch. The 2.0 update added so many new features and activities, which will help keep you entertained until the next Animal Crossing game. But if you've just started playing Animal Crossing New Horizons, check out my first video that shows you 32 things you can do every day if you're just starting out. Now let's get into the video. Talk to your villagers to see if they will ask to visit your home. This is a new feature where your villagers can randomly invite themselves to your house and want them to show you around. Villagers can also randomly come into your house when you least expect it. With a whole new farming mechanic added to the game, you can now plant vegetables by using a start or a fully grown plant, water your crops to help them grow, harvest crops once they are fully grown, then cook a meal with your harvested crops. You can only do this if you have a cooking recipe. If you want to get more cooking recipes, you can look on the beach for a washed up bottle. If you're going fishing, you can also learn a recipe when you catch certain fish. You can also visit your villagers' homes to find someone who is cooking to get a new cooking DIY. Get coffee at the roost every day. Do this multiple times to win Brewster exclusive prizes like the Brewster Gyroid. Scan in amiibos at the roost. If you scan in an NPC amiibo card, they will appear in the roost. And some will even bring special guests. If you scan in a villager, they'll go on a coffee date with you. If you scan in a former villager, they will remember you and talk about how they lived on your island. Go on a boat ride with Cap'n to a new mystery island. You can only do this once per day. Dig up the gyroid fragment when you're visiting the mystery island. Bury that gyroid fragment when you get back to your island. Harvest your gyroid fragment from the previous day to get a fully grown gyroid. Check your beaches to get an additional gyroid fragment. Customize your gyroids at a crafting table. For more info on gyroids, check out the video I made linked above and below. Take a visit to Harv's Island. It's recently been updated and now includes seven NPCs and their corresponding campers. Each offering new items and features. If your Harv's Island isn't updated and you don't see this brand new area, check out this video I made on how to fix this. It's linked above and in the description. Get your fortune told by Katrina. She will tell you if you have good luck or bad luck for the day. She can also influence your friendship points with your villagers. Get an item customized by Cyrus. Typically, only crafted items can be customized, but here you can customize the color of any item sold in Nook's Cranny. Check to see if Red is selling any rare art. This is a great way to build up your art collection fast because you no longer have to wait for Red to visit your island by boat. Just don't get scammed. A new piece of art will also be sold by Red the next day if you buy one the day before. This is a little trick if you want Red to sell more art pieces per week. Pull a ticket from Red's raffle box to win a prize. These include ice cream, donuts, and light sticks. To learn more about the prizes you can win, check out this video I made linked above and in the description. Check out new shoes and accessories for sale by Kix. He now offers a new type of item, the holdable bag, that can be held by your villager. Kix store has also been updated with new backpacks, socks, and shoes for sale. Check out what vegetables and plants leave selling that day. Visit Sahara to buy exclusive wallpapers, flooring, and rugs. Participate in group stretching. If you do this multiple times, you can earn exclusive prizes. If you want to learn more about all the exclusive group stretching prizes you can earn, check out this video, linked above and in the description. Check your Nook's Cranny every day for new 2.0 items. Over 9,000 new items were added to the game. Check your Able Sister shop for new 2.0 clothing and accessories. Check special goods in your Nook shopping app for new items. The giant volcano, cars, castles, and pine tree are just some of the new giant items that have been spotted here. Redeem your Nook miles for new items. You can do this in resident services at the Nook stop. There are a bunch of new items, including the Ferris wheel, inflatable plaza toy, and gazebos. And while you're here, pick up an ABD for 9,900 Nook Miles. This item lets you access your bank account from anywhere on your island. This is the closest thing we have to a credit card in New Horizons, as you can put the item in your pockets, then place it outside whenever you need bells. I place two ABDs on my island, one outside resident services and one outside Nook's Cranny, the places where I typically need bells the most. Craft a donation box. With this item, any visitors to your island can donate bells to you and they are kept safe in this box. You can even donate some bells as well if you want to store them for a rainy day. This also keeps the bells separate from your bank account. Set up an island ordinance with Isabel. You must have unlocked a three-star island and have had KK Slider perform his first concert to access this. The next day, Isabel will announce that you've unlocked island ordinances. The beautiful island ordinance includes no cockroaches, no trash when fishing, weeds grow less often, and your villagers will water your flowers more than usual. The early bird ordinance includes your villagers will wake up and start to walk around your island an hour earlier than usual. Your shops will also open an hour earlier, but still close 
close at their regular time. The night owl ordinance makes your villagers go to bed in their houses one to two hours later. Your shops will also close an hour later, but still open at their regular times. And the bell boom ordinance increases the cost of goods when you buy them, but it also lets you make more money on each item you sell. So if you're selling items more than buying them, this is a great way to make more money. Decorate a room in Harv's Photopia with new villagers. The 2.0 update introduced 18 new villagers, and if you have their amiibo cards, you can add them to your scenes in Photopia. It's a great way to get to know the new villagers if they don't live on your island yet. And with these new villagers and amiibo cards, you can scan them into your island and have them visit your campsite. Do this three times and they will ask to move to your island. If you want more information on how to move amiibo card villagers onto your island, I have a video linked above and in the description. You can also take photos with the new camera features. These include the fisheye lens, the surveillance filter, which makes it look like Nook is watching you wherever you go, the first person camera, which is basically a stepping stone for VR, and the tripod, so you can be in your photos with a first person view. And those are the 36 new things you can now do in Animal Crossing. The 2.0 update added so many new features and activities, which will help keep you entertained until the next Animal Crossing game. Let me know in the comments which new thing you will do first. Also let me know which new thing added is your favorite. If you haven't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this one, and leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And if you like live streams, I do Animal Crossing live streams over on my Twitch channel, so definitely follow that if you haven't already. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.